Breaking news. We have some updates straight from the source, and it has scared a lot of Detroit Lions fans. I'll tell you the first piece of news today. But first, hit the like button if you've been a Detroit Lions fan for over 15 years. While injuries are never something we want to hear, Coach Dan Campbell has put our minds at ease. If you've been following along, you know that the Detroit Lions have been dealing with a few injuries lately, and that's causing a bit of confusion in our preseason and training camp plans. But don't worry, because Coach Campbell joined 97.1 The Ticket on Wednesday morning to give us some reassurance. First off, the big news, the injuries to some of our star players, Jomer Gibbs, Terry and Arnold, Ennis Rakestraw, Carlton Davis, and Hendon Hooker aren't looking like long-term issues. Kimball kept it simple and direct, saying, I think we're gonna be fine here. So, I think we'll be good. Sounds like our guys will be back before we know it. Let's break down the latest on each of these players. Starting with Jomer Gibbs, who pulled up during Monday's practice with a hamstring injury. Now, Campbell didn't mention him specifically, but the overall positive vibe he gave about the injuries is encouraging. And to back that up, NFL Network's Ian Rappaport reported that Gibbs' injury isn't considered significant and he's expected to be ready for the regular season. So, if you're holding your breath, you can let it out now. Our explosive rookie should be back on the field soon. Terry and Arnold, another rookie, also got banged up during Monday night's practice. Campbell was quick to note that Arnold was having a solid camp before this setback, which makes this injury even more frustrating. But again, Rappaport stepped in with some good news, saying that Arnold should be good to go when the season kicks off. Then there's Ennis Rakestraw, who also had a rough Monday with an ankle injury. Campbell couldn't help but praise him too, saying, Ennis was having a good camp. And if you're looking for reassurance straight from the source, Rakestraw himself took to social media to let everyone know he's perfectly fine. We love to see that kind of confidence. Now, Carlton Davis is dealing with a hamstring issue as well. He didn't get hurt during Sunday's practice but was noticeably missing on Monday. Campbell addressed this directly, saying Davis is just managing the hammy but should be fine. It's clear they're being cautious, which is exactly what we want with the season right around the corner. Last but not least, let's talk about Hendon Hooker. He got a concussion in the game against the Giants, and there was some concern about his status for this week's preseason matchup. The good news is Hooker was back on the practice field Wednesday, and Campbell gave us a pretty optimistic update. He said, yeah, I think there's a good chance, regarding Hooker's chances of playing against the Kansas City Chiefs. He didn't want to commit 100%, but it's looking promising. With all these injuries piling up, the Lions had to cancel their planned scrimmage on Wednesday. Campbell explained that they were forced to adjust their practice plan because of the injury bug hitting the back end of the roster, especially with our second and third stringers. He mentioned that some of these guys would have had to play 70 snaps in the scrimmage, so they decided to back off instead. These adjustments are also like likely to spill over into Saturday's preseason game against the Chiefs. Campbell hinted that we might see a few starters take some snaps, which is not something the Lions usually do in the preseason. He said, there could be a couple of guys, but emphasized that it would only be a few at most. It sounds like we might see a couple of D-linemen out there who didn't play last week, but the offense seems pretty set. So, what do you think, Lions fans? How do you feel about these injuries and the adjustments the team is making? The injury bug has hit us hard once again, and unfortunately, it's claimed another victim. Morris Norris, who's been battling a hamstring injury, injury has been waived with an injury designation. It's always tough to see a player go down, especially when the season is just around the corner. But the reality is, the Lions are really shorthanded right now in the defensive backfield, and they had to make a move. Just last week, we lost Emmanuel Mosley to a torn pectoral, which is a huge blow considering how important he was going to be for our defense this year. And if that wasn't enough, during Monday's practice, both Terry and Arnold and Ennis Rakestraw had to leave the field with injuries. The good news is that it doesn't look like their injuries are too serious, but it's definitely a wake-up call that our depth is being seriously tested right now. With Norris out, if he clears waivers, he'll revert to the Lions' injured reserve. But the Lions aren't sitting back and waiting for things to get worse. In fact, they've already made a move to bring in some reinforcements. On Wednesday, the team announced they've signed cornerback Javelin Guidry. This guy's got a story, let me tell you. He went undrafted back in 2020, and since then, he's been bouncing around the league trying to find his spot. He's been with the Jets, Cardinals, Raiders, Eagles, and Falcons, and just last year, he found himself back with the Jets. Kidry's career has been a bit of a roller coaster. He's appeared in 32 games, 
made five starts, but hasn't seen the field since 2022 because of a knee injury he suffered in training camp. Now, at 5'9 and 191 pounds, he's not the biggest guy out there, but he's got the versatility to play both on the outside and in a nickel spot, which is something the Lions definitely need right now. And let's be real, with all the injuries piling up, don't be surprised if Gidry gets thrown into the mix sooner rather than later. We might even see him out there this Saturday in our preseason game against the Kansas City Chiefs. It's going to be a real test for him, but also a huge opportunity to show what he can do. Let's dive into what's been going on with our team this week. The Lions had to adjust Wednesday's practice schedule, shifting from a planned full-contact scrimmage to a padless practice. The reason? A rising number of injuries across the squad. But hold on, it's not all doom and gloom. In fact, there's plenty of good news mixed in with these updates, especially when we talk about players like Hendon Hooker and Alan McNeil making their way back to the field. So let's break it down. First off, the injury updates. Gibbs, Jefferson, and Rake Straw are the latest names added to the list. While coach Dan Campbell didn't dive into specifics about each player during his radio appearance, he did drop a line that should ease our worries. Talking about Gibbs, Rake Straw, and Terry and Arnold, he said, I think we're going to be fine here. I think we're going to be good. That's a relief, right? And here's some more promising news. According to Jordan Schultz, Gibbs is expected to be ready by week one. That's right, folks. The guy we're all excited about is on track to make an impact right out of the gate. Now, shifting our focus to the secondary, Arnold and Davis, who are the team's projected starting cornerbacks, were out there on the field on Wednesday. They weren't just standing around either. They were actively working with a trainer for over an hour. Campbell mentioned that Davis shouldn't miss much time, which is a good sign. As for Carlton, coach made it clear, Carlton is good. He's just got this hammy he's dealing with, but he'll be fine. It's all good. Sounds like we won't be missing him for long, which is crucial as we head into the final stretch of preseason. Let's not forget about Brian Branch. He's been in and out of the lineup during camp, and on Monday, he spent some time with the trainer before rejoining practice. His situation seems to be day-to-day, -day, but with the way our defense is shaping up, we're hoping he'll be back at full speed soon. Now, here's where things get exciting. Hooker and McNeil both return to practice on Wednesday. For those who might not have been following closely, this is a big deal. Hooker, in particular, has been making strides in his recovery and it's looking likely that he'll see some action in Saturday's game against the Chiefs. After practice, Hooker told reporters he feels really good, and Campbell added that there's a good chance he'll play. This could be a glimpse into the future of our offense, and I, for one, can't wait to see what he brings to the field. As for Alan McNeil, while it's not clear why he missed the last couple of practices, he didn't show any signs of limitation on Wednesday. Seeing him back in action is a reassuring sight, especially with the kind of pressure we're going to need up front this season. And we've got more. Pascal started his day working with trainers but quickly transitioned back into drills with the second team defense. It's great to see him getting those reps in. Jefferson, who Campbell mentioned was trending in the right direction, found his way back onto the field Wednesday, another positive sign for our depth. Finally, Moore was back taking part in team drills. With Branch out, Moore was splitting his time with the first team defense, rotating with guys like Afita Melifonwu, Brandon Joseph, and Kirby Joseph. This kind of rotation speaks to the depth and flexibility we have on the defensive side, which could be key as the season progresses. So, Lions fans, as we head into this crucial part of the preseason, there's a lot to feel good about despite the bumps and bruises along the way. The return of key players like Hooker and McNeil, the cautious optimism around Gibbs, and the steady progress of our defense are all pointing toward a team that's gearing up for something special. But what do you think? Are you feeling confident about our depth heading into week one? How excited are you to see Hooker potentially take the field against the Chiefs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, one pride!